Welcome to the System Administration and Engineering Career Path. If you're new to the IT landscape, I want to take just a moment to give you how amazing this career path is. First off, the system admin is broad in their focus. So rather than talk about the individual applications or servers that they support, I want to give you the big picture. What's a day in the life of a system admin look like? Well, first off, the system admin is responsible for implementing and supporting applications and services that makes business possible. Seriously, you control a lot of the lifeblood of the organization. Your success makes your entire organization successful as you find new and more efficient ways for them to accomplish their day-to-day -day responsibilities. So what might that day look like? Well, you might come in and find out you have an email from the HR department saying, hey, we've hired two brand new accountants, Laura and Nikki. Poor Nikki's eyes. Uh, we need you to set them up. So you go to your Windows servers and uh, go into your Active Directory domain controller and say, hey, I'm going to create two new user accounts and grant them permission to log on to the computers. Here's your username and password. And those users have access to where they can access the accounting folder and all the sensitive files that are secured from everybody else. That's, that's a lot of the Windows server side of it. Or maybe you go and set them up for an email account and allow them to share calendars so they can see what each other's uh, scheduled to do during a given day. That's Microsoft Exchange, which could be running on some extra exchange servers. Or maybe you're saying, you know what? One server is not enough for Active Directory because if that thing bursts into flames, ah, our whole business is down with it. So I might have a project where I'm going to put two Active Directory domain controllers that are replicating between each other. And you might do that using VMware, where VMware makes it super efficient to where you could take your exchange servers over here and your Active Directory and all run them from a single box because you do something called virtual virtualization. You take these servers and uh, run them off of shared hardware, essentially making your hardware, hardware redundant and yet super efficient so that you can run Active Directory and Exchange and everything else. Even though they're different servers, you can run them from the same place. Or maybe you decide to get into the Linux world. And Linux is definitely a scrappy realm to where you're kind of coding. It's almost a hybrid between uh, uh, admin and development to where you create your own systems. But maybe in the Linux world, you create a, a denial of service attack. It's a security attack against your Active Directory domain controllers. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because you want to make sure that they're secure. So you block that Linux server and you go, okay, I know that we're secure because I've tested it. So those, uh, that Nikki shady person, let me look at those eyes. Uh, it might try to break into your server and you're now protected against that. That's a day in the life of you. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.